Hi guys, this is a video on how to make a paper crane, and as you see. Okay, what you're first going to need, you can use either origami paper, or if you have not square paper, I'm going to teach you how you can make it square. So, if you have this paper, you take your side, and you push it down, so it looks like this the folding part. Then you take it, you flip it over, and you put it back, and you get it right on the line right there. Or if you make it into a triangle, you can just cut it with scissors. But if you don't have scissors on you, keep rubbing your nails along here, then do it with the other side. So flip it over now and do that. Then you should just be able to tear it. Well, go slow, or else it'll rip a big chunk out. So, got that. You can keep that because once you know how to make paper cranes, you can make even smaller ones. So just try not to waste paper and do it. So, now it's actually pretty easy because if you're left with this, keep it like that. So, you have your square like that. You actually just fold it over to triangle. Then, you fold another triangle and keep using your nails to push it down. Then you just unfold it. Then you fold it into a rectangle. then into a square and then unfold it. Alright, so now you're left with some creases. Make the creases so it goes into a triangle. Now this is the hard part. Hold down your left side. You should be able to bring this side up and push it down. And it should look like that. And I'm gonna do it another time. When you're doing this, you lift it up so it's up vertically, and then you just push it down, and then tighten those sides out. Then do the same thing with the other side. So here's again. You hold this side down, lift it up. Push it down. And you should be left with this. If you look in the middle, it should look something like that. So, once you have that, all you do is take one of the layers, not both. So you take one of the layers and push it over. And do it with the other side. So now here have this. Then you do then you flip it over and do the same with the other side. So just so my hand's not in the way. You fold it so it's like that. And then so now you're stuck with a shape now like this. Now when you do this, this is just to make it easier. You take this top part and you fold it down. You take it the other way and fold it up. This makes it easier for the next part. Now this part is very hard so watch closely. You unfold this side. You take this flap and from where that, where you turned it, the crease that you made, push it to there. So, you would have this, but then it looks like this now. So, if you see this part and this part, you're going to want to fold it 
over. So you should have that. Then you can push it down like this. And you should have this. I'm going to show you with the other side too, because you have to do it with the other side. So what you do, you unfold this to this. You take this top layer, fold, push it over to the crease, push that over. And you should have this. Then you push this side over. And then now I'm left with this. And you should be able to see in this middle a triangle. So this is also a hard part. There should be two flaps that you can lift up. They almost look like legs. First, you take it and you fold it as far as you want over as you want. Because it's your crane. So it should look something like that. So when you do that, you unfold them. So they're back facing down. Then you flip it over. Into this center, you should be able to make open the leg. When you do that, you're just gonna want to push it in and fold it. But don't crease it. So when you do that, then you can crease it once you know it's good should look about something like this. Notice how it's not on the outside anymore, it's in the middle. It's called a reverse fold. And you do the same with the other leg. I'll do it slower. You open this up. You should see this part. You take it and you just push it in and then close it. Now with the leg, you should see the crease that you made in there. And you can actually put it to where you want it to be. And you should now have something like this. Then you take whichever side and you do this. You take its head and you push it down. So it's folded to the side. Then you do the same, a reverse fold. You there should be this side that you can open up. You know, push it in and then crease that down. And if you want, you can push these things, which are wings, down. Now you have yourself a crane. If you need some help on some parts, you can comment me and I'll make separate videos for what you're trying to find out. But right now I'm just going to try something. I'm just going to show you that um, if you get it right, how easy it is. Because this is only my second day of from learning it. And very easy. I only learned it yesterday, so. Now, if you're wondering why I'm just randomly posting this video, I'm wondering why I said I can only do it, how I only learned it in a day, it's because this one company, it's, um, you make cranes and you send it to them. For every crane they get, they send a shirt to Japan. So, our class has a very big amount and it's awesome because I want to help some people in there even though they started Pearl Harbor and we bombed them I don't care I still want to help them there I mean it's the world we're supposed to help each other as you can see I'm on the second step Computer's trying to 
shut down on me. Alright, so I'm pretty close to dawn. Oh yeah, so remember to rate, comment, subscribe, because I need some more subscribes. Even friend me, because I need some more subscribers. Only, I forget, four or five. And as you can see, I'm on the leg park thing. And this is going to be a little crane, because from that paper that I don't want to waste, because every crane counts for them. Done it in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm done. Now, to get the hang of it, you can make really little. Cranes. <laughs> you can. You can make seven cranes in a piece of paper of about maybe bigger sizes than this and then three of these. That's what you can make out of this. You can make three squares out of this until it's about like that much. Except I think it's pretty hard to fold smaller ones. So, yes, this video is long. So, Thanks for watching. If you ever need help with origami or just a crane, you can look at this video. Thanks for watching. See you later.